What's up, everybody? Once again, it is time for Funko News. This edition of Funko News was recorded on May 30th, 2020. Some of the figures that are available now include Zeus with the Cloud Pegasus, which is a Hot Topic exclusive. You can check for that on the website, or you can actually go in store, and I'll talk some more about that in a little bit here. You also see her Patrick Bateman has become available. This is the Patrick Bateman with the axe and the raincoat. And there is that Chase variant of Patrick Bateman, which I really hope to add to my collection because I'm a big fan of American Psycho. And then you see some waves that are starting to roll out here, including the latest Pokemon figures, Legend of Korra, Inuyasha, and then also Masters of the Universe. And I'm saying they're starting to roll out because you may not be able to track down every single character within these waves, but definitely shop around and look for them. I know that GameStop has a lot of these ready to ship out, so just keep your eyes open. And like I said, check with different retailers, and I would really start with GameStop. They tend to get things pretty early gonna focus now on the Funko shop when I first saw the Kraken I was very impressed by it I still did not expect it to sell out as fast as it did this was going in probably less than five minutes I was able to secure it if you were interested in it I hope you were able to secure it as well and I definitely want to point out for um, collectors outside of the US and Canada do not forget about pop culture and I think Zing sometimes may get these figures as well but pop culture for sure actually does get some Funko Shop exclusives so don't feel like if you, you know you can't order from the Funko Shop you're just missing out altogether check with pop culture's website like I said they do get some Funko Shop exclusives they may not get them right away but you know give it a week or so and then they get the figures so definitely make sure you check pop culture's website you also see here that the Fanta Clown is available, at least it's still available at the time of this recording. And like me, you know, a lot of other people were not familiar with this mascot, but apparently he was actually used in like 1963. I'm more familiar with the ladies that were used, um, the four ladies that were used within the commercials to represent Fanta. You know, that's what I remember. But again, if you're interested in this ad icon at the time of this recording, it is still available. Now, if you happen to be near Funko HQ or Funko Hollywood, they now have curbside pickup. So apparently you can place your order online and actually go pick them up curbside. So again, that's another way to try to get that cracking. Although I'm not sure if it's actually still available at those locations. I would imagine some people have already taken advantage of that. But yeah, just keep that in mind that curbside pickup is available now at Funko HQ and Funko Hollywood. And then with Hot Topic, I kind of alluded to this earlier, there are some Hot Topic stores that are starting to open back up. I think in general, they're all starting to open back up. They may have limited hours and also they're definitely practicing social distancing. So check to see what is going on with your local Hot Topic if you prefer to shop in store. With the Marvel Collector Core, the next theme is going to be X-Men 20th Anniversary. And of course, that anniversary is in reference to the 20th Century Fox movies. I definitely want to hear from you all what you would like to see inside of that box. I'm still hoping for a Quicksilver pop. I kind of doubt that they would put it in this box. It seems like they might want to focus on the original trilogy. But again, like I said, I definitely want to hear your ideas. What would you like to see in that particular box? And of course, that is available for pre-order right now. Just remember when you sign up for Marvel Collector Core, though, that you are signing up for a subscription. So if you don't like the next theme, make sure that you cancel that subscription. And then you also see here with Amazon, again, focusing on Amazon, because of course the collector cores with Amazon, you see the Avengers team up door is available for pre-order right now. Keep in mind that the basis for these figures will connect, connect all together, you know, once all six of them are out. So again, if you're trying to, you know, be a completionist with this set, definitely make sure you go and get your pre-order pre in, excuse me, for that Avengers team up door. Next up here, focusing again, because I have addressed this previously, and I actually did a video about the memes that I would like to see made into Funko Pops. Please check that out if you've not done so. But of course, you see here Spider-Man versus Spider-Man, or also called the Spider-Man Imposter 2-Pack. This is an Entertainment Earth exclusive that is available for pre-order right now, and it's actually going to release in June. So that is very soon here. Now I mentioned these previously, I want to come back to them because we have a street date now for the Target exclusive Neon Marvel Pops and it seems that they are going to be street dated for June 21st. 
Do not be surprised if you see these in stores earlier because that does happen sometimes with Target. It doesn't always mean that you'll actually be able to get them rung up though. So um, yeah, it just kind of depends. Maybe you'll be able to get them early, maybe not. But again, June 21st is the street date. And I know previously there was some confusion with these figures. Some people thought they were just customs that they were seeing images of. Yes, there are some custom artists that do this style, but you know, it seems like Funko has taken a liking to it. The same thing happened with glitter variants. You know, a lot of custom artists were doing that. And then Funko started to do official, you know, glitter variants of figures. So it just seems like it's the same thing happening here. Of course, there are pops on the way for stripes. We know this because these were, you know, they were revealed at one of the toy fairs. I can't remember which one, but regardless, if you're interested in these, of course, you can get pre-orders in with a lot of different retailers. That does include the Walmart exclusive variant of John Winger, which of course is Bill Murray's character. Yeah, so if you're interested in these, of course, like I said, you can pre-order and they should be on the way very soon here. Now, I haven't actually watched Space, For Space Force yet on Netflix, so anybody that has checked it out, let me know what you think about it. I know some critics are not necessarily being harsh on it, but they're saying it just doesn't have enough laughs. So I really wanna hear from any of you that have checked out the series, what you think about it. And you see that there are some pops on the way, of course, right now it's just concept art. And you see also that there are two, two Target exclusives in the mix. You know, especially once we get some real images of the figures, I'll share that with you all when I learn more about the release or when they get released, of course, I will update you. Now, this is pretty cool here. I don't collect Star Wars personally, but I think these are some great designs. And you see that these are inspired by various video games, of course. So you can go ahead and pre-order these Star Wars games figures with GameStop. They are GameStop exclusives. And it seems like they're going to release in July. That's the date that I saw in one or two of them. So I'm assuming that they're all releasing, you know, within that window, within the month of July. Be on the lookout for those. And let me know what you think about these figures. I think the Shadow Trooper especially looks very cool but I know there's um you know other characters here that people have been waiting to see so definitely give me some feedback on what you think about these figures and how they turned out GameStop has a couple of figures on the way based on Sony's first party games and I'm really into uh, PlayStation's first party games. I, I think I played um, the majority of them actually. So we have here the Hunter from Bloodborne, which I'm very happy to see. Bloodborne is actually my favorite game of all time. And I kind of given up hope on them doing the Hunter as a pop figure, but yes, he is on the way and I already got my pre-order in. You also see here a new version of Kratos based on the most recent God of War game. We already have a pop on the way based on Ghost of Tsushima. The game hasn't even dropped yet, but yeah, we already got the main character there and I wouldn't be surprised if there's another variant of him that comes along eventually especially if the game is a big success which I think it's going to be you also see here Joel from the last of us and I don't know if there's going to be a common variant of him or not but yeah there's this GameStop exclusive yeah so all those four characters I just named there these are GameStop exclusives that are available for pre-order right now and they will be releasing throughout the summer of course you'll see the specific date for the specific figure if you go to pre-order you also see here Ellie from the last of us part two which um i don't know if the, she's going to be an exclusive or not right now it seems like she's a common because i think i have seen her um listed with a smaller company so i'm assuming common unless i learn something different of course i would update you with that and i'm a big fan of all of these properties here i mean of course i haven't played ghost of tsushima yet but what i've seen so far looks very impressive so yeah i really do like these figures definitely let me know which ones of these you're trying to add into your collection if you are interested in them Moving along here, I'm just going to run through some other figures that should be releasing very soon. This does include a DIY troll, which has the rainbow hair along with it. Um, you also see here that the Dark Lord Dwight is actually going to be a specialty series figure. So you will see this available with um, some smaller companies online. And then you might want to check your local shops as well, like your local comic book shops. They might get this one in. Of course, from Arthur, we have Arthur himself and then DW as well. Still with Mr. Sinister, and this is another look at that pop. I don't know exactly where he's going to be available, you know, which retailer he's going to fall with. Of course, when I learn that, I will share that with you all. Then there's also Garo. I think it's how you say the name, a character from One Punch Man, which does have a glow-in-the-dark specialty series variant. And there are more Yu-Gi-Oh! pops on the way as well. And the last items I just mentioned, of course, here are the images of those particular figures. So do be on the lookout for these. Of course, once the Yu-Gi-Oh!, you know, that full wave all of that drops of course i will update you all 
and we do have some rumors here to cover as always we'll just have to be patient and see what actually gets made and which does not you know but hopefully most of these will get produced because there are some exciting things here this list of Marvel figures is mostly unchanged. I think there might be one or two additions here, but it seems like we could get the Spider Armor Mark I, which should look pretty cool, and I really feel like that should be a metallic figure out of the gate. Um, also, it seems like we could get Infamous Iron Man, which would make a lot of sense. I've been hearing about the Scream symbiote being on the way for a while, so that seems more than likely it's going to happen. Superior Octopus is another one that should look pretty cool. Um, also, Glow in the Dark Jean Grey, and this would be Jean Grey based on the um, 20th Century Fox movies. And then with DC, it seems like Murder Machine with the Glow in the Dark variant is on the way. So, you know, getting a little bit closer there to completing the Dark Knights, that would be very cool to see that all done. And then also a 10 inch Glow in the Dark full cow Deku appears to be on the way. And I know some people are really tired of so many Deku pops, but apparently, they keep selling and that's why Funko keeps making them. So if you want to see them do um, different characters, definitely reach out to them. Um, reach out to Funko on their social media accounts and let them know that. And also don't keep purchasing Deku over and over if you don't want to see Deku over and over. Um, there's another character here. I'm not really feel, you know, familiar with him, but I've seen his face around a lot, especially, I guess, the mask. I'm assuming that's a mask that he wears there. And the character is Inosuke. Forgive me if I mispronounced his name, but this is a character from Demon Slayer that is very popular. And it does seem like he is going to get a flock chase if he actually is produced, which seems very likely. And then with Hot Topic, they are getting an exclusive Danger Days Gerard Way. That's another one that seems very likely to me. And some more rumors here include the Headless Horseman, of course, you know, based on the Disney, the old Disney cartoon. Um, that should be pretty cool to see how they pull that off. Also, HP Lovecraft seems like he's going to get a figure, you know, at the actual HP Lovecraft, not just Cthulhu. Again, although it seems like his figure could have some Cthulhu detailing along with it. There could be a Jay and Silent Bob 2-pack on the way, which if that happens, I would imagine that's going to get snatched up pretty quick. And I'm already kind of curious if that happens, if it's going to be exclusive somewhere or like to, with a convention, because it seems like that happens a lot with Kevin Smith. So we'll just have to wait and see. Ash from Army of Darkness seems like he's going to be getting a figure, and that's really no surprise. You know, we already have some Ash Pops already. And then with Godzilla versus Kong, seems like there's going to be a good amount of figures, but basically focusing on those two main characters. I don't know if there's going to be any other kaiju in the mix, but it seems like we're going to have just a common Godzilla, a Heat Ray Godzilla, a 10-inch Godzilla, Battle Scarred Kong, Battle Ready Kong, and a 10-inch Kong. And then there may be a metallic variant of one or both of these figures. I'm not sure about that right now. And some Pocket Pops as well. So, yeah, it seems like there's going to be some love for Godzilla versus Kong. And I really hope people support these pops. And then maybe we will see some more of the Kaiju getting their pops as well. So that is going to do it for this edition of Funko News. As always, I hope you all got something out of it. Definitely let me know in the comments which figures you're interested in that you're hoping to add into your collection. Also, which rumors you really hope pan out to be true. Um, I always like to check out the comments. If you've not already done so, please make sure that you drop a like on this video. Share the video if you think it's going to help out other collectors. You all take care of yourselves. Be safe. And I will talk to you all again real soon.